uh, Turbo Machinery CFD is uh, smart and easy and affordable CFD software for all rotating machinery. So I hope everything is working now. We have had some technical problems. Now it seems to be okay. So anyway, in case of any technical problems, feel free to contact us in the future and we will gladly answer all your questions and reminders. The topic uh, for today's webinar will be a centrifugal pump. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's start with who we are. So please let me introduce us a little bit. So this is me. My name is my name is Lubos Pirko. I'm the founder of CFD Support Company. And today I am sitting here with Radek Matza. Uh, hello, Radek. Yeah, hello. hello. Uh, well, so how are you today? Yeah, I'm doing great today. I'm great today. And let me say hello to everyone. Who is watching? Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you yeah. here. Are you, are you ready for the webinar? Yeah, I am. So please continue. Okay, so I will just say a little bit about Radek. So Radek is a head engineer and senior developer here at CFD Support. Uh, Radek will take part of the technical. Te we will take care of the technical part of this presentation. Yeah. And, um, Notify that like he's great, great guy, great engineer. He's living legend of of machinery and here at CB support and everywhere else. And yeah, some some we will build a museum for him with, with the Hall of Fame. Yeah, the same as Cristiano Ronaldo has on my era. Okay. <laughs> okay, so again okay, the about the webinar. Maybe we can yeah, yes, Radek. So maybe we can switch the camera off. So okay. So uh, the webinar is going to take about one hour, depending on the number of your questions and reminders. There will be three parts of, in this webinar. In the first part, I will give a general introduction to Turbo Machinery CFD. I'm going to point out the main Turbo Machinery CFD features and the benefits. In the second part, uh, there will be a live example where Radek is going to show you how to simulate a centrifugal pump in Turbo Machinery CFD. And finally, in the last part, there will be a Q&A session dedicated to your questions and our answers. Feel free to put your questions to the special to the special window below, or you can even send us an email to info@cvsupport.com, and we will gladly answer all your questions later in this webinar. Uh, especially in the beginning of this webinar, we are going to be quite general. But feel free to ask about the details and we will really provide all the, all the details in, in case in case of need. About the CFD support, so CFD support is a private engineering company dealing mainly with computational fluid dynamics. We are located in Prague, Czech Republic. We are used to deliver complete CFD engineering projects on demand all across the CFD field. We also we do also quite a lot of outsourcing work. We deliver extensive open form training and consultancy, as well as open form support and custom development. And of course, our flagship product is Turbo Machinery CFD. Which brings me to Turbo Machinery CFD. Let me give a brief description of what is Turbo Machinery CMD. So Turbo Machinery CMD is a Unix software based on OpenFOAM. It was designed for CMD simulations of all rotating machinery such as pumps, fans, compressors, turbines, water turbines, both radial and axial machines, both compressible and incompressible fluid flows. Turbo Machinery CFD is complete. It's a complete CFD workflow that covers all the engineering steps from the pre-processing over the simulation round to very detailed post-processing of the results. And it is independent 
on any other software. And in the other hand, it's fully compatible with standard open phone. So for this reason, it's comprehensive. Uh, let me put just a quick review of its unique value proposal. So we believe to machine receive is unique, at least for four reasons. Number one would be to version CFD has no licensing policy, which means our clients can keep to version CFD forever and they can use it for unlimited number of users, jobs, or cores. Uh, this gives the investment to to version CFD a permanent value. And also, this means our clients can scale their CFD simulations in a big way. Number two would be to version CFD is fully automated, which means all the workflow from the initial data to the final results report can be run by a single command or a single click. And all the process is being done automatically. And for this reason, to version CFD is extremely effective. Uh, number three would be to version CFD is has the extraordinary technical support we are proud of. So we keep custom approach to every customer, to every issue, and we are very flexible in it. So we never leave behind any of our, our clients. We support our clients even in matters out of the revolutionary field. For example, in numerical mathematics, physics, CFD, IT, or even software engineering. And number four would be the Real tutorials are included in Turbulation CFD, so it means Turbulation CFD user has no doubts about the best practice settings. So there are included real machines that are already preset, that, that are tested properly, and you can basically take one of those tutorials and replace them with your own geometry, and you can modify the settings and run the simulation. It's pretty easy. So there are many other benefits of using Turbulation CFD. I'm not, I'm not, not going to go for all of them. Uh, I, I, will, I will end up with this. There are some more technical details. I will, I will briefly mention them. So Turbulation CFD is, is available both for Linux and Windows operation system. And by the way, for this webinar, will be will be down from, from Windows operation system. The Linux workflow is very the same as in Windows. So it is always your choice which operation system to choose. What's important, the machine CMD workflow is fully set from a uh, graphical interface, the GUI. The graphical interface for the machine CMD is Paraview. So again, you can work either work from terminal or from gra graphical interface. Of course, the machine CMD can be run on clusters and clouds. So that, again, it can scale your CFD simulations in a really big way, and the decision is always up to you. The workflow can be scripted. The machine CFD is transparent, so the trial version is available for free for one month period of time, so anybody can try it, and afterwards he or she can decide to go for it or not. So it's it's very transparent, and you can take the decision after you you are absolutely sure it. it you know, you, you have all the information you can try. The real tutorials are uh, available. What's important, every single simulation has its detailed report in a web responsive HTML format. And also, TCFD includes CFD processor, which, which is the auto automating tool, which automates all the process. And finally, perhaps the most important information of this webinar is all the resources are available online on our website, so you can you can anytime you can get back to us. Uh, you can you can take a look on our website and and really get got the information. And of course, you can contact us anytime. So this was the the quick introduction. Now it's coming time for the live example of the machine CFD workflow. So for this example will be. Uh, centrifugal radial pump. So, Radek, are you ready for your part of the presentation? Yeah, hello. Yes, I am. Okay, so it's all yours. Okay, thank you, Bosch. Can you... Okay, can you make me a presenter? Oh, 
Okay, so I hope you see my my desktop, my screen. So hello again, this is Radek speaking. So during this part of today's webinar, I am going to show you a complete workflow of our Turbo Machinery CFD product. So basic, basically, I will show you what is the input, what can be the input, how how the parameters can be set up or how can be modified. Then I will show you how to run the computation and at the end of my part I will show you what is implicitly evaluated by our software and what can be evaluated afterwards. So I will start to show you to show you where to find the useful information. So basically general information general information is at our web pages. For example in download section you can download a lot of tutorial cases for our product Turbo Machinery CFD. For example, today's case will be the radial pump or centrifugal pump. Other useful useful files are here. So if you would like to work with our Turbo Machinery CFD, you can first or you should first install the open form for Windows or open form inbox for Linux system. So we provide both version uh, for Windows and for Linux. And you can download, download documentation or you can see it online. So for example, the manual or some documentation regarding Turbo Machinery CFD, for example, how some efficiencies for each rotational type is evaluated you can see direct, directly here online. Some other useful information for advanced post-processing tools can be found in the section Turbo Blade Post. So again, a lot of useful information you can find find directly here. And basic open form training for open form can be also found on our web pages. Well, so this is some general information, so now we can we can focus on, on Turbo Machinery CFD. So if you go to the product section to Turbo Machinery CFD, so here, here are many, many interesting and useful information, including the webinar. So you can you can watch online our or today's webinar or our previous webinars. You can watch video manuals, so this will be extended. So for example, you can watch basic uh, setup for Turbo Machinery CFD online. You can ask for trial version, so you can you can ask, uh, ask us for trial version and we will provide the free version for one month to test your geometries on our software. Uh, then here is useful step-by-step -step PDFs. So if you for, if you forget what I what I I'm going to say in a few minutes, so you can find it here how to install how to install our software and how to run it, how to do first basic steps to use our software. And of course you can find workflow example here on our web pages. So you can go through this and and try try our our software by your own. Well, so now I can jump to our today's test case, which is a radial pump. And basically, basically here, download in download pump test case, you can download today's today's case just by typing your email address and download the case so which I have already done so on my C drive I have installed already open foam the newest version is 7 uh, 17.02 which is the new version and in my working directory in my run case here here is the directory with today's webinar and here I have radial pump. So if you download today's case, 
So basically what is here is the initial initial stage the, is the input data for our software. So to start working with our Turbo Machine Edit CFD, I will go to, to my desktop where I have this icon for Turbo Open Form for Windows 17.02, also with uh, Turbo Machine Edit CFD installed. So basically you have two options how to use our software. So one option is to use the console version and the second one is to use graphical user interface. So if I go, if I run Midnight Commander, okay, and go to Radial Pump case. So here basically is the initial initial data for for our software. First one, which is well, it contains let's say two parts. First is the geometry, and the second one is uh, is the is the uh, configuration file. I will go here. It will be more uh, it will be more readable. So basically, in my STL, there are several several STL files which defines my uh, pump geometry, which is splitted into several parts. Impeller impeller STLs which defines the impeller, inlet pipe, and for example, volute. And in the radial pump TCFD file, it is the configuration file, which basically uh, contains and defines the parameters for simulations, parameters of operation points, which defines initial, initial condition, boundary condition, physical setup, and it uh, defines the geometry. So, what is what can I say at this at this point is the configuration file, uh, which can be which can be found here in Turbo Machinery workflow example, and here in Turbo Machinery CFD input, here's the Turbo Machinery CFD configuration file manual, which basically describes all parameters which can be defined, which can be modified within our software. Yeah, so there is the name of parameter, uh, the possible value of parameter, and and short description. And a note if <clears throat> if this parameter is mandatory or not. So you can go through it and check all these parameters and what is possible to set up and further, furthermore there are a lot of useful notes and useful information for important parameters yes yeah, so again it can be found directly online on our web pages so back to my case and you have two options two options how to how to change or how to define the setup and the input parameters first one is to use any file editor or the second one, as I show you later on, is to change these parameters or set up it from scratch using graphical user interface. So in short, just quickly, I will show you how to run our, our software <coughs> from console. So I have to jump in my webinar, in my radial pump case. So from this place, I will jump to console and the programs called CFD processor can manage all the CFD workflow. I mean, it generates the mesh, it creates the case, and it runs the simulation and post-process, and it runs post-processing tools. So the usage can be found if you use CFD processor minus help. So here are examples how to run the computation or how to run only the meshing process or how to run only the, cal the calculation. So for example, I will just <clears throat> write the case, for example. So first parameter is the setup with the configuration file. <clears throat> I can define directory, for example, my directory. And I would like just to save to write the open form case. Yes, so mine, mine is right. So I will run it. 
it tells me a lot of information what it's doing right now. So the CV processor is checking the geometry right now and then it writes all all needed files to run open form case. Yes, and as we can see now, we have here my directory case with, with the standard open form topology. Okay, so this is <clears throat> not so user friendly. So we can use graphical user interface, which was okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. There is some some misprints. Okay, so I can run it directly from from my free commander. And if I start really from beginning, so basically, if you run clear, uh, uh, let's say uh, bar view from the console, you will start to set up your case using so-called TCFD source which is a plugin using which you can set up the case. Basically, you can create a configuration file for Turbo Machinery. So now we can go through through all the settings here. So I will, I will just undock it and expand the window. So basically, at the beginning, you can load your preset case or preset configuration file or you can start from scratch from really big, really beginning to set up your case with your own geometry. So I will load my <clears throat> radio pump case. Then if you anytime you would like to see some changes you have to click on apply button. So I will do that and as you can see as you can see here, basically two new windows is opened. First one with the, with the geometry, and the second is a table or is a list with all parameters and and its defined values, or with with its default values if it's not defined by yourself. Okay, so back to our my properties window. So first one is to is option to load configuration file or save it or or override it with your own setup. So second one is the coordinate system. <clears throat> In this menu you define basically the origin and axis of rotation. So it means the direction of the axis and the origin, it means the point at the rotation axis. Second one is geometry options, so if your input STL files or your input geometry is, is not in meters, so you have to scale it because OpenFOAM implicitly works with meters, <coughs> so it works basically in SI units, and feature edges includes angle, it's a an advanced parameter by which you can improve the meshing process. So it basically generates some helpful or some edges which can help to mesh mesh geometry correctly at sharp edges. And this this is the angle between between two STL files or between two sharp uh, parts of the geometry. Inside the physics menu uh, you can define gravitational acceleration, you can choose between two fluids, air or water, and for each you can set dynamic viscosity, reference density, reference pressure, or reference temperature. For pump simulation or for water-like <laughs> water -like machines, you can, you can check this cavitation risk, and you know, during the computation, it will tell you <coughs> the, uh, some parameter which uh, which is connected to the risk of cavitation inside your geometry, usually uh, along along the blade part. The third section is the turbulence. So here we provide basically k omega s t and k epsilon turbulence model, or 
you can switch off the turbulence modeling by choosing laminar. What I didn't set yet is this advanced button. So if you type, if you click on it, you can expand some advanced parameters, which are, for example, for for turbulence model, all turbulence parameters, which KMA gas system model includes. So you can change also these parameters. Well, the second point, or the, no second, but the next point is to define, is to define your <clears throat> our own computation, computation conditions, let's say, you can, uh, within one simulation you can, for example, you can uh, compute several speed lines up to 10 speed lines, it means you can you can compute more uh, within one simulation computation with different rotation speed. So, for example, I can define next uh, the next speed line with with a little bit lower uh, rotational speed. For each speed line, you can define as up to 10 points, 10 computational points with let's say different volumetric flow rates with different pressure drops, etc. Uh, here the value is, mi uh, is minus ne negative because, uh, because the revolutions uh, follow the right hand rule, which means the thumbs points to the direction of the axis and the fingers show you the, uh, the di direction of rotation, so in this way it rotates as you can as you can see from from this image in this way so you have to choose a negative value and for each point if you define the maximum amount maximum maximum number of iteration for each for each point inside the boundary condition you can define the inlet <coughs> let's say in the inlet part you can define the inlet boundary condition you can uh, you can choose between these these types, for example, mass flow rate, volumetric flow rate, directed mass flow rate, if you define the direction into your domain, and total pressure. So in this way, we define uh, different volumetric flow rates for our speed line. Again, we can set some values for the second speed line. Here are the initial uh, inlet inlet condition for turbulent quantities regarding uh, the turbulence model which was chosen. Again outlet boundary co condition in this case we uh, we choose a fixed pressure boundary condition so this is the reference boundary condition in Pascal's which which is set to zero because the solver uses so-called kinematic pressure not not static pressure so it's because we are, we are using incompressible solver. Well, next step is the simulation. So basically we provide both steady state and transient simulation, so we can also apply transient simulation if you choose this steady state plus transient option. You can choose as many processor you want and here are some advanced parameters which which increase the robustness of of the solver of the computation. Basically, it's a lower and upper bound for pressure and upper bound for velocity. So, in your domain, you can you can disallow, let's say, the velocities which are higher than 1,000 meters per second. Numerical order, you can choose first or second and you can check convergence check it means the <clears throat> the cfd processor checks some uh, uh, some condition let's say if if the efficiency if the flow rate doesn't oscillate doesn't change in time it doesn't change during the iteration process it will it can stop the simulation before the maximum iteration is reached another another part is Numerics basically is the relaxation factors for more advanced users, so it's, it relaxes the solution <clears throat> or for some, let's say, 
for some bad meshes or meshes with really tiny uh, layer, you can increase the non-orthogonal -ortho non correctors, which can improve, for example, continuity errors in your solution. Initial condition, as usual, so initial condition for pressure, for velocity, and initial condition for turbulence quantities. So you can, these can be defined here. And what is important part is the components part. So basically here you define your computational mesh. So I can start our, let's say, the workflow of meshing of components consists of, let's say, connect several components which define which defines each physical part of, of the geometry. Here it is really clear. First component is the input pipe. In, uh, depicted in white. In red color you can see the impeller, which is component two, and the third component is the volute, depicted, de depicted in, in green color. So, there you should start, so our software provides to create the geometry from STL files or from external open full mesh. It means any, any mesh almost any mesh from some external external softwares can be converted to open foam and directly use in our software. So in this case we are using STLs to generate the mesh and here in the STL directory you just choose the directory in which the STL geometry is defined or where to find the STL files. Number of periodic segments uh, it, uh, our software also provides um, provides a treatment for the seg for simulation just for segments. It means segment of which includes just one blade for stator or rotor part. And here in the batches, you will you should choose which STL defines the component one. In this case, it's just the inlet pipe with part inlet, outlet, and wall in type. You should define the type of boundary condition, boundary patch. So basically, there are a lot of wall options, empty for 2D simulations, and <clears throat> inlet outlet for physical inlets and outlet outlets uh, for your geometry, and inlet interface and outlet interface for connection to components together. So it is. I think it is clear. For each component, you can define minimum and maximum refinement level because uh, if you are using STL, the mesh is generated using Snappy Hex Mesh, which is an implicit mesh, <coughs> mesh solver in open foam. You can add layers. So, for example, you can, on your inlet, let's say, inlet pipe wall, you can define five uh, or a boundary layer with five layers. and for communication between between the interfaces between the components, so usually between rotor part and stator part, there are this option which defines uh, the number of mixing planes. So for steady state cases, it uses mixing plane approach. If you want to simulate frozen rotor, you just set you just set under zero mixing planes, so it means it will use this arbitrary mesh interface. The software set up, set up the arbitrary mesh interface for communication between <coughs> uh, rotor and stator part, and so on. And here, important parameters is background mesh size, so it's, it is the largest cell in your geometry, and you should define the point inside, inside this component. And for example, component two, which is the rotor, again, you will define type of type of boundary patches, and for you can check which part is rotating. And of course, here is the options to check which whole component is rotating. So this is impeller, so impeller is, will be rotating, will, will be uh, <coughs> rotates. So we will check it. And what is a nice 
chart is here. So anytime you change something, anytime during your process of creating computational mesh, you directly see which part it's connected to to <coughs> to another another part and so on. So for example, if I would like to connect component two, let's say or I, I go with some some nonsense, <laughs> but to use it, so outlet interface should be connected somewhere. And for example, you you have options to which component you would like to connect this outlet. So usually it should be the inlet of the next component. So if I, for example, define this nonsense and I connect inlet pipe to the volute, so you will see you will see this this shape of shape of arrows, which tells you something is wrong. Okay, I connected it the wrong way. So I see that I should connect it to component two and everything is okay for me now. So you will directly see the topology of your geometry. And the next few menus uh, <clears throat> is connected to the snappy health mesh. Uh, ut utility, so you can define any parameter inside the snappy hex mesh or any parameters for snappy hex meshing and and next two uh, or the last two menus are really important first one is uh, really new which is only in the newest version of our turbo machine CFD is the post processing tool so it it means from which part of the geometry the efficiencies the pressure drops and etc and under quantities are evaluated so implicit option is that the for example efficiency it means pressures uh, temperatures uh, velocities are evaluated at the inlet page from to the domain so it means at the inlet to the pipe and at the outlet from the from the geometry so it means in our case outlet from volute but if you would like for example set uh, or evaluate only only the rotor part so we will simply define that inlet patch will be impeller inlet torque so you would like to include only the blades to evaluate uh, for evaluating the torques and outlet patch will be the outlet for impeller so now we will see two or after the <coughs> simulation is done you will see two reports uh, one will include the first first setup and the second one will include the second setup which in this case is just the rotor part and another another useful useful feature of the newest version is the scripting so you can define so called user defined function so you can change anything inside uh, inside inside the open form case inside the uh, generated case so you can add some your own uh, created post-processing tools you can define uh, different turbulence model different initial condition and so on basically it contains uh, uh, um, uh, some in-house function which can change the top, uh, change the uh, change any part of open phone case and furthermore it is based on Python scripting so in general you can do anything using Python script okay so I I see we are at the end of of the modification of our case so at the end you should always click on apply to confirm confirm this configuration and sorry at in the end you will just point to the settings uh, settings item here in the pipeline browser and now you can apply TCFD manager which is basically the graphical user interface for <clears throat> for CFD processor which which do all important all, or all important work so basically you can define again your own directory my own directory let's say click on apply then you basically write the case and then you can run complete workflow so generation of mesh computing and generating report do some post-processing things by one click 
on run all or you can do for example just mesh each component then then generate final mesh afterwards run calculation and update report so you can manage it from 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 here directly and at the end so if i jump in time at the end of the computation you will see here several several new windows one window in the uh, in this render window you can just visualize the mesh for example and here you can see the report the report can be generated anytime during the computation or it is generated automatically after the computation another nice feature you can open open it or you can save it as PDF or you can because uh, it is in it is generated in HTML format so I will go here in my computed case and here you can see the, <clears throat> the report and you can open it directly in web browser so what information is included here basically is standard simulation statistics so in the name of the case number of simulations uh, simulating points type of machine uh, mesh size details uh, mesh size so yeah I don't know mesh size parameters non orthogonality and so on you can see the y plus values which is important for uh, turbulence modeling the computational time and so on then uh, then there are several several section with for example the first one is head of the pump so head parameters for each computed point everything is nicely depicted in the figures which are also automatically generated then uh, the next section is the efficiency so efficiency of the pump uh, this one is really from the beginning so from inlet to the geometry and outlet from the geometry so here you can see the nice nice <clears throat> nice graph of efficiency with respect to to the flow rate torque on the impeller total pressure difference between input and out, uh, between inlet and outlet total pressure per interfaces so per interface between each component you can see the uh, total pressures uh, velocity magnitudes per interface you can check it and <clears throat> circumferential and meridional angle if if the flow flow inflows to for example two blades correctly you can check it or you can uh, you can see it in the graph and yeah and that that is all so this is the report, nice, nice report which is generated automatically and you can see it anytime during the computation or after your computation. And what I would like to just quickly, quickly say that inside the Paraview you can use some basic post-processing tools visualization or you can use some uh, some plugins which are included to Turbo Motion CFD. First one is the Meridional average, which which is basically here. Here you can see the uh, the visualization of meridional average. So you can see the <coughs> average of pressure uh, through the through the impeller, for example. So you can see nicely the pressure drop. Or the second one is the turbo unwrap to see blade to blade view. So basically it, it unwraps the impeller into the into this box and using a slice for example you can visualize blade to blade view at, at some radial coordinates and you can for example visualize streamlines along along the blades with and uh, and color it for example by by total pressure so anything of this can be done inside the paraview and using our our own filters, original average and turbo unwrap. And last, what I like to show you that using our software and using the transient simulation, 
it can be simulated for example this pump which is which is which is really the same geometry and this is the visualization of vorticity in time or during the time and here you can see for example the efficiency during the computation so this this was basically generated using our software okay so maybe I'm a little bit late so it's so thank you for attention, attention and I, I will I uh, I will I will give my presentation back to back to Lubosch. Okay, thank you, Alec. Thank, thank you very much. It was, yeah, it was nice to, to, to see your example. So yeah. So uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. And can you hear me? Okay. Okay. So I will I will quickly finish my presentation. And before I do that, I would like to kindly ask you to give your questions. Just. Take your take your chance. It's your time. We are here for you. So we are we are ready to serve. So we are ready to answer. So so please give put your give your questions and we will we will answer them. So so I'm gonna finish. Uh, I'm gonna finish with how to get to version CFD. So the trail version trail version the demo version is available. Anyone can try to machine CFD full version for one month and decide to take the action after that or not. So it's it's very transparent in the sense you can you can try to machine CFD and after that you can you can take the action. The paid version is always perpetual. That's important. So the paid version is always perpetual, so you can keep it forever. Uh, what is paid for? Is the first delivery and technical support and the, the updates and, and maintenance. So that's that's important. So I will I will repeat it. So so what is paid for is the uh, the first delivery and technical support. And yeah. So yeah. So we decided to fight hard for the universities. So universities pay only 3,000 uh, euros, and private organizations pay 12,000 euros. And again, I just repeat: you can keep the software forever, uh, but uh, as long as you want to have technical support, you you pay uh, annually, so per every year. But you can keep it forever, and you can benefit from it ever. Uh, for, for all the time, and you can use it for unlimited number of users, jobs, or cores. That's that's I, which is I believe very beneficial. And yeah, so about the pricing, feel free to contact us, and we will then let them provide all the details. Um, okay, so please, there's still enough time, so please put your questions, and we will let, we will slowly conclude or, or <coughs> we will move to Q and A. So I think it's time. So let me take a look. We have a couple of questions. So Saugata is asking if there will be a recording from the from this webinar. Yes, there will be a recording. I will send it to you. The next question is: uh, Is it not required to have any meshing here? So, well, it's it's standard. Uh, yeah, I will I will answer this. So it's it's pretty simple. So it's standard uh, simulation tool based on finite volumes. So there is there is meshing. It's automated. Uh, the first choice is Snappy Hex Mesh, a part of OpenFoam and OpenFoam application. So the first choice is a Snappy Hex Mesh. But of course, you can load any mesh. You can load any external mesh. So that's that's it. So you can either load external mesh or you can use automated snappy hex mesh where you can put put all the settings. Uh, uh, yes, uh, actually the, the, it's it's what was mentioned. So there's the efficiency monitoring. So the efficiency is monitored all the time during during the simulation. Maybe maybe Radek, may, may I ask you to switch? Yes, I, I take. <laughs> yes, please switch. Yeah, you can, you can shoot the record. Okay. Okay, I will go. Oh, where is it? 
Yes, basically, the patient is monitored in time. So you can see during the simulation, well, this is not the efficiency, this is head, but this is the efficiency. So you can see clearly during the simulation, during the simulation, you can see the efficiencies. And as you can, for example, here, the convergence checks find found that the conver convergence uh, converge convergence uh, are are satisfied and it stops the iteration and jump to the next point. So during the during the computation, not only the efficiency is monitoring, but also also let's say here head for pumps, but also the residuals for each variable flow rate is monitoring pressure differences. So you can see all what is here. You can see directly during the simulation. Okay, thanks. So you can update any time, and you see the, the results immediately. Uh, the next question is: Yeah, some advanced post-processing, which was I believe which was shown. There, was, there are special special filters for paraview, like variable average, blade to blade, and yeah. Uh, the next question is: the, Does the software support? FSI fluid structure interaction. Rare, can you can you answer this? Okay, yeah, I'm back. Well, at this moment it doesn't doesn't support this FSI, but we are in connection with uh, another companies and we are, we would like to uh, include this FSI into our geometry uh, into our software. Sorry, but at the moment it doesn't provide this version. It doesn't provide yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no FSI directly. Yeah, OK. So well, I have to say, I don't see any, any more questions. So let's give uh, another couple of, another couple of yeah. Is the script in platform Python? Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. Yes, uh, maybe, maybe can you can you show a little bit, just a little bit of the scripting? Maybe. Oh, Maybe. Yes, okay. Right. Yes, sorry, sorry. okay. I will say just just a little bit. So okay. the 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 workflow is automated by uh, by CMD processor. So everything is done by CMD processor. Uh, all the all the data transfers, uh, running uh, running of the of the applications. But yes, the Python at certain points during the process, you can you can run uh, scripts. Yes, right. Um, yeah. So. Yes. For example, well, here in this in this configuration file manual, you can find this, some notes to the scripting, and for example, we have some in-house functions which can change any any any, any dictionary item in open form. <clears throat> so basically, using just these two lines, if you create new file. And you just type this set entry, which is the function which can change in FY solution uh, file in the simple uh, dictionary. It can change this non orthogonal correctors parameter, for example, to five. And this, this, uh, just this, uh, yeah, this write file save, save these changes. And you will put this file, you will put inside. I go to the settings part, scripting, and just here you will load by this plus button. You will load your script file. Maybe I have some no Francis water turbine yes, scripts. For example, here here are some scripts for probing, and and okay, I will I will undock it and enlarge I will enlarge it. Yeah, and in here in execution point you just define in which in, uh, in which part of the workflow of the of the CFD processor you would like to change it? For example, if you would like to change non-orthogonal correctors, so it will it will change it. It is enough to change it before before the calculations. Yeah, and you can create your own script not only with this uh, in-house function set entry and write file, but in general with the Python script. 
any Python script, so we can add some files. You can yeah, you can do anything and load it here and just tell in which part of the at which part of the workflow you would like to apply your script. Okay. 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 This this was this was great. Okay. Um, I have the um, perhaps the very last question is uh, Azam is asking and can you tell me the cost of the software? I missed the dead part. Okay, so, so just just a quickly, I will take back uh, the presentation. I'll show my screen. I will quickly go back. So I will just quickly repeat. The, what is paid for is the first delivery and technical support, because the, the the software is in any case it's perpetual. So it's always perpetual. Anytime you buy it, it's perpetual. You can keep it forever, and you can use it for unlimited number of users, jobs, or cores. Uh, what is paid for is the delivery and technical support and updates and maintenance. And the costs for universities is 3,000 euros. Uh, and the technical support is for one year. And, and you can renew it, re renew the technical support and updates and maintenance every year for 3,000. Or you can keep the, the original version for, for forever. And the same for private organizations and private companies pay. 12,000 euros. But again, the software is perpetual. They can benefit. It can scale uh, the, the CRD simulations in a really, really big way because there are no limitations on, on the users, jobs, or cores, and you can keep it forever. But for, for, the, for the updates, for technical support, which is, which is really, really special, very, really, really great, and updates and maintenance, you 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 should renew every year for, for this for at these conditions. Of course, there are there are some special offers like you can buy for three years with for twenty four thousand and this. So feel free to contact us regarding this, and we will badly cooperate. We will give you all the information. Yeah, and perhaps the last last information is you can try, and then you can decide. You can decide after that. You can take the, you take the action after that. Uh, I think. I think this this is it for today. We, have, we are a little bit over the over time, so yeah, may, maybe we can put the camera on again. So can we? Yeah. Uh, so I think I think it's time to say goodbye. See you see you next time in the in the next webinar. Feel free to contact us. Stay tuned and yeah, Radek, have you anything to say? Thank, Thank you for watching, and I hope we will. Stay in connection. Let's say we are we are looking forward for your question for your for any contact with us. <laughs> okay, okay. We believe it's great software and it's really going to, to shape the market. And we, yeah, I think we think it's it's really great. So let's stay in touch. See you soon. See you somewhere sometime. Yeah. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.